2022 has been another busy year for the Navy. We have been called upon to support our fellow Australians across the country through fire, flood and COVID. We've also been called upon to support our partners around the globe. We have successfully completed these operations, exercises and deployments, building on our reputation as a world-class Navy. These achievements and successes are not possible without a professional and committed workforce, supported by family and friends. We have achieved a lot as a Navy this year and the team working behind the scenes have been seeking new and innovative ways to support you and your families. We have successfully implemented the Maritime Allowance Reform, which recognises the challenging and displaced environment we work in. We are implementing a distributed training model, which is designed to provide flexibility for all of our people undertaking training. In 2022, this has resulted in an increase of over 1,700 training opportunities being delivered at the waterfront in the locations you all work and live. We have also achieved significant milestones for our Navy, such as the inaugural Australian Submarine Command course and the first Sea Power Conference since 2019. We continue to contemporise how we are training and assessing our people to keep you all fit to fight. We have changed our physical fitness testing regime and implemented an incentive tier. And I'm proud to report that our Navy is overwhelmingly pressing for the top tiers. We have continued to implement the Navy Mastery Program, which is developing our people and their competence through maritime, technical and social mastery. Mastery Career Pathways has been a key delivery focus activity in 2022, concentrating on developing technical mastery. Part of this work is designing contemporary career pathways to replace outdated career continuums. 30 warfare community and four logistic community work groups have embraced this change, preparing for future capability requirements. These pathways are delivering our people with a career on a page, highlighting roles, education, exposure, experience and headmark positions. To help with the management of your career, we have relocated many career managers to the waterfront, increasing their accessibility. Whilst we have been doing all of this great work, you have still found time to support other important initiatives, such as the Navy Cadets Fleet Engagement Camp at Fleet Base East and their National Camp held at HMAS Cerberus, and the Navy's exceptional contribution to the Defence Blood Drive. These community activities are important to develop community awareness of Navy's contribution to our society. Recruiting the next generation of officers and sailors remained one of our key priorities for 2022. And through your efforts, we have built significant momentum for 2023. We have been investigating innovative initiatives to ensure we are an employer of choice in an increasingly competitive environment. This includes alternate entry pathways and community engagement aimed at better informing potential candidates of the opportunities that exist in the Navy. We can all play a role in recruiting our reliefs, so I encourage you to share your Navy story. As 2022 draws to a close, I would like to thank you all for your service and your friends and family for their ongoing support. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I look forward to working with you all again in 2023. Ah, DCN's office. I didn't know it had a chimney.